Good morning everyone. I am Dr. Sadhul Kumar, Associate Professor in the Department of Agriculture Engineering, SNS College of Technology. And uh, in this lecture series video, let us see with this topic 2 that is the scope of mechanization in India. And to set the definition of form mechanization, it is the application of engineering and technology in agricultural operations to do a job in a better way to improve the productivity. This includes development applications and management of all mechanical aids for field production, water control, water, metal handling, storage and processing. That is, mechanical aids includes hand tools, animal drawn equipments, power tillers, tractors, engines, electrical motors, processing and hauling equipments. And uh, to say about the scope of form mechanization, there is a good scope of form mechanization in India due to the following factors. That is, improved irrigation facility in the country. Introduction of high yield variety of seeds and introduction of high dose of fertilizers and pesticides for different crops. So, introduction of new crops in different parts of the country, multiple cropping system and intense cultivation follow in different parts of the country. So, these are the scopes of form mechanization. And to say about the, some of the factors which are responsible to encourage form mechanization are the population of the country is increasing at the rate of about 2.2 percentage per year steps has been taken to arrange food and fiber for such large population by adapting intensive farming into country that means normal as well as the conventional farming will not be appropriate for increasing population of our nation so by means of this intense power intense farming intensive farming it will be possible for us to go for more yield so intensive farming requires machines on the farms so previous and existing uh, traditional methods of farming will not hold goods so in multiple cropping program where high yielding variety of seeds are used all farming operations are required to be completed in limited time and economy within the economy and efficiency this is possible with the help of mechanization form mechanization removes the drudgery of labors to a great extent a farmer you has to in normal in old practices you want to walk for a distance of 66 kilometers on foot while plowing one hectare land once by bullock within a country plow having 15 centimeter furrow depth with a large number of females and children work on farm so with mechanization females can work at home and children can go to schools these are the some of the factors which is responsible to encourage farm mechanization the proper utilization of basic inputs like water, seed, fertilizer will be possible with proper equipment. There are certain operations which are rather difficult to be performed by animal power or human labor such as deep plowing in case of the deep rooted crops, killing the pernicious weeds by deep tillage operations, leveling of uneven land and land reclamation, application of insecticides during the epidemic season. These operations need heavy mechanical equipments. And to say about the benefits of form mechanization, there are the various benefits of form mechanization. Once on um, implementation of form mechanization, we will come to know that what are all the main benefits and what are the benefits that we are obtained by means of this form mechanization. So timeliness of operation, that means the operations that we have planned will be completed within the scheduled time by means of this form mechanization. Then the precision of operation, that means we can say it will be more precise one, the operation will be more precise one. Improvement of work environment and the enhancement of safety while comparing with the manual working by the labor when we are using the proper appropriate tools as well as the machineries there will be it increases the safety of the laborers working on it. Reduce reduction of drudgery of labors, reduction of loss of crops and food products it leads to increase in productivity of land. Increase the economic returns to farmers uh, that we know very well when the productivity as well as the yield is increased automatically the returns from the land that means uh, say for example a farmer is investing money and after certain months he is uh, raising the crop and he is going for harvesting and he is selling to the hands of the customer so returns what he is getting will be increased by means of this form mechanization improve dignity of farmers so it also increases the dignity of the farmers. He can probably say, yes, I am the farmer. I am responsible for raising the crop. Like that, he can say his dignity will be increased. Progress and prosperity in rural areas. And to save the present status of farm mechanization is quite appreciating. We have improved manual tools in our country, improved animal drone implements, tractor operated implements, custom hiring units on the farm, 
as well as the other station equipment like thrashers, irrigation pumps, sprayers and dusters. These things are available. So this we can say about the present status of the form mechanization in our country. And to set the limiting factors in the form mechanization. So we are in the intention to implement form mechanization in every part throughout the country. But there are certain limiting factors which is disturbing for the implementation of the form mechanization. These are the various limitations in adapting form mechanization or small and fragmented land holdings. We can't say each and every farmer is having very long, large land holdings. Then the less investing capacity of the farmers, agricultural labor is easily available. So since the labor is easily available, why the farmer he will think about on going for investment of more money for purchasing of the machineries and implements. Adequate draft animals are available in the country in our country. Lack of availability of suitable form machines for different operations. That means for each operation it is necessary to go for customization of the machineries for each specified operations. So lack of repair and servicing facility for machines in our country. Lack of trained manpower. That means it is possible for us to buy any machinery or implement that is required for our firm. But the servicing personnel, that is well trained personnel are not available in our country. Lack of coordination between the research organization and the manufacturers. High cost of the machines as well as the inadequate quality control of machines. These are all the some of the limiting factors. And to say about the bottlenecks in the Indian form mechanization system or low annual use of tractors. That means when a farmer is holding his own tractor, only 500 to 600 hours of hours per year. Again, recommendation of 1000 hours per year. Normal recommendation of a tractor is it can be worked for a duration of 1000 hours per year. But normal in a farmer when he is holding a tractor he is using it for a time of 500 hours per year. So non-availability of the matching equipment, cumbersome and some energy inefficient design that is poor reliability, frequent breakdown and high repair and maintenance cost and the low quality use of ungraded materials, absence of interchangeability of components, inadequate warranty, testing and training facilities and inadequate research funding, inadequate user education, lack of standardization non-availability of relevant literatures like operation manual, parts category, catalog etc. So these are some of the bottlenecks in Indian form mechanization system and thank you for watching this uh, lecture series and the topic 2 of form mechanization. Thank you everybody.